Well, right now, St. Paul police are trying to piece together what led up to a two-year-old's death yesterday. Police believe that child was struck by a bullet inside an apartment on Rice Street. Officials tell us it's unclear who fired the gun, but at it's possible there were other people inside the apartment at the time of the shooting. They need to also find out if there was an accident or if it was intentional. Police are not ruling out the boy's death as a homicide, but they say violence is plaguing the city. The number of shootings is higher than it's ever been. And our Jennifer Hoff is digging deeper into why. The blizzard had just begun yesterday when St. Paul police got the call. A two-year-old had been shot and died at this apartment building. As you can imagine, these are really tough calls for our officers, um, especially this time of year. Police telling me any suspicious death is investigated as a homicide. There are 33 confirmed homicides in the city this year, one more, and it ties a record set 28 years ago. The councilman overseeing this area condemning the growing violence. It takes a real effort to, sh to help people who want to create, uh, want to cause violence that the city of St. Paul, if you shoot your gun in St. Paul, we're going we're gonna to find you. We don't want that sort of activity in, in our city. Police noted the suspects are more young people carrying guns and usually repeat offenders. Police say they've also recovered more than 4,000 shell casings this year, the equivalent of someone pulling a trigger 12 times a day. They wouldn't say what's driving the trend, but some business owners so fed up they're planning to relocate or arming themselves at work. Councilman Tao says job creation is key to reducing violence. We're taking them away, we're taking their time away from doing other activity and paying them on a job site to do something that prepare them uh, for the future, uh, to be taxpayer of this city, to be leaders of this city. As for the boy, the medical examiner is conducting an autopsy and Councilman Tao is asking people to pray for his family and the city. Jennifer Hoff, CARE 11 News.